Welcome to our hub identification class. Today we are uh, we are going to talk about the the cancer Trojan horse that is Sawasov, Anona Muricata. And this is a very, very good half for cancer. Cancer has become a pandemic and a pandemic in this world. Many people are suffering from very complicated cancers, uh, be it the rectal cancers, be it the breast cancer, cervical cancers, prostate cancer, and uh, the lung cancer, the heart cancer, kidney cancer. Many people are having these problems because of most of the foods that we take. We take a lot of food that are rich in glyphosate, the Roundup uh, that are being sprayed, the hybridized seeds that change the genome or the DNA of the cells. So the body cannot really fight for itself. Uh, the best way, the best approach to cancer is not even identify sour soup as the best cancer uh, hub, but the best approach is to follow the laws of health. Uh, the best treatment and remedy for, uh, for any cancer is uh, making sure that making sure that you drink water properly, you exercise properly, your colons are moving well, your liver is, uh, is, is expelling and breaking down the, the toxins very well, uh, eating good food that will build the DNA. The DNA is built from uh, proteins which produce, which are broken down to amino acids, the minerals as the binders, and then we have the lipids as the, as the membranes. So when we eat foods that are having strength, foods that are organically grown, not spread excessively as people do it today, and the soil that has highly uh, regenerated and built up, I tell you, we are able to combat any disease. Cancer is proving very difficult to treat today because people realize it when the time has gone and it's because, it is caused because of how we've been eating. So you find that the, the cancer has metastasized to many parts of the body and it's find very difficult to treat. Um, today we don't get the local vegetables that we used to have long time ago because people have not specialized in, in cultivating them. And people are very busy. We are busy with uh, uh, feeding the body with the things that are not proper for us, clothing the body with the clothes that are not proper for us, and always uh, having a, a residential, a, a kind of a, a, a sedentary lifestyle. We don't want to exercise. We are busy. I tell you, the devil is has created, put us in a cave. You realize someone has never seen the sun the whole year. He wakes up in the morning, and takes his butter and tea and thick milk, uh, milk tea, and then gets into the car and goes and go under the basement, and in the and all the foods will be brought unto him there: the sodas, the good chapatis, or the, uh, the 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 fried Irish potatoes, the chips, and then the person in the evening gets out and then into his car and back into the house, watch the TV, and you think that you are having life. The devil has just nudged you that life. And so you will work for up to 60, when you are 60 years old, you are given a, 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 a retirement benefit. You go to your home, you are having diabetes, you are having hypertension, or you are developing cancer. And then all your pension you'll be using in, in treatment of disease. The devil has robbed you of the of the blessing that you love hard by just choosing a life of being active in your farm, producing your own crops, being living a life of productiveness, consumption, reaching out to the people and serving others, knowing what is right to eat. And you appreciate, even if you are dying, you are dying knowing that I have done right first to God and then to my fellow man. 
So let's look at uh, this, this hub that is good for cancer. So cancer, this not only treats the cancer, cancer is a systemic and we need to approach it, the whole body. But this is one of the things that, uh, one of the hubs that help us to fight it uh, effectively. Uh, there are those that are, we have the stage one, stage two, and the stage three. The angiogenesis process where the cancer develops and then uh, develop the tissues, the, the cells, and then it goes to the progression levels where it now begins to build up in that system. And then, uh, sorry, we have the initiation process where you put yourself into the stage where the, this, uh, the, the cancer is able to develop by eating pro improperly, eating the foods that are highly chemicalized or grown chemically, it, not even the original good foods. And then we have the angiogenesis process. The cancer cell begin to grow and create cells and its uh, own cocoon or industry for manufacturing the foods. It feeds on sugar. It feeds on fats. It acts, it behave, it, it actually thrives in a environment that is, uh, that is uh, having low oxygen. And then, uh, and later on, you go to the progression stage where it now progresses and progresses. And then you go to the full blown stage where it now covers, it conquers almost 70% of your body. You can, there's less movement, the hair begin to lose. And now if you go for chemos, most people will identify stage three at stage three when they now go for chemos. It has gone very far. Well, the best way to prevent it and to cure it is to go the natural way. And the natural way, also, we need to study and know which is the best natural way. Um, for, for this herb, it, helps, it is high in vitamin C. That is the fruit. We are talking about the fruits and the leaves that are majorly used. It is high in vitamin C and it is an antioxidant uh, known to boost immune health. The vitamin strength, um, the vitamin strength as said here, uh, the vitamin strengthens your immune system, improving its ability to defend against pathogens. It also promotes the destruction of free radicals, which can help to promote your skin and cells from environmental oxidative damage. One whole sour soap fruit contains 215% of your recommended daily allowance of vitamin C. So sour soap health with your health, skin health. That is the tea. If you take the tea, uh, the decoction made of the tea, it will help you to have healthy skin, healthy hair, treating cancer, treating osteoporosis or back pain and other rheumatic ailments, treat me, treating gout, treating ulcers, treating blood disorders, treating hypertension, treating sleeplessness, lowering body temperature, body immunity, and fights infection and treats diabetes. We use the leaf decoction uh, to achieve that. Well, so let's say you have someone with a, with a cancer and there are different types of cancers are there and the approach of treatment is very different. Someone who is having hormonal related cancers like the prostate cancer, uh, like the breast and cervical cancer have different approaches of treating them. And uh, the hormonal ones are a bit tricky to, to treat because uh, you have to make sure that you monitor the hormones. Uh, for women, we have estrogen, those that are caused by estrogen being high. And uh, uh, in men, we have the ones that testosterone, dehydrotestosterone has built up in the system to have the, the prostate uh, gland cancer. So what you need to understand is to study the foods that are uh, creating estrogen surge and the, 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 the foods that will help to block uh, the aromatase in prostate cancer. And then after identifying that, you identify the foods that help you to build high faster immunity. Number one, you have to revitalize the system, make the, sure the body comes to a stage where it is strong enough. If the patient is very weak, you have to make sure 
that you strengthen him by giving him the right foods. More so, we use the potassium broth to strengthen the, the body. We have used the carrots, a cup of carrots, a cup of Irish potato, and a cup of, uh, of, uh, of cucumbers, and then a, uh, a bulb of uh, garlic and a pinch of salt, and then you have a cup of celery or any dark green leafy vegetable, and then cook them until they are fine, they are very, very soft, and then blend them in two cups of water, they give the person to drink the whole day. You can make chia seeds. Um, you have the pineapple <laughs> blended with the chia seeds and pumpkin seeds, and then give the person to drink for energizing and strengthening the body. You can add some coconut in them there. And this person will begin to be strong. After he's strong, what you have to do is now to begin detoxifying the system. You detoxify first by eliminating the, this, the, the waste in the colon. You give, do a colon cleanse. You can do an, a coffee enema or, or do a no enema cleanse where you use one part of bentonite clay, one part of, uh, one part of activated charcoal, one part of aloe vera, or oh, one part of uh, three parts of senna and uh, one part of uh, psyllium husk mix in one tablespoon or oh, one, one glass of warm water and then stir and drink in. And then you look at the foods that are going to strengthen the system. And which are these kind of foods? They are fruits and vegetables. But you limit the sweet foods for you to succeed. And then after that, you look for the uh, for the herbs that build and regenerate the system. Well, we have the licorice, we have the golden seal, we have the chaparral, we have the artichoke. Then we look for those herbs that helps to, uh, to boost the immunity. We have the red clover, we have the echinacea, we have the cloves, and uh, we have the, uh, we have the, uh, the ginseng, the, the podiaco, the dandelion, and the stinging nettle. After that, you look for the herbs that are going to eliminate or bust out the tumor. And this one, you are going to check on apps like, uh, apps like acacia bark, apps like alabesia bark, apps like a thylosema, apps like a, a pork root, and a blood root, and then sour soap and comfrey. Well, and then if you give that, now you keep monitoring. In fact, you need to give more of the food and you limit or you, you control the amount of herbs that you take. Because if you give a lot of herbs, uh, uh, the, uh, the view, you, you are going to break down that patient. The person needs to be uh, help in nutri nutrition, part of it, the food that they take and the exercises and lower or apply the herbs. Uh, intermittently. If there is a tumor, you look for the, the, the herbs that will be able to shrink it, and then it goes down to the bloodstream and then hoosted out. Things like fig, uh, the fig fruits, uh, fig fruit and comfrey and sheep chorel mm -hmm. applied as a tumor, uh, as, as a poultice, you have to cook the, 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 the figs and then apply it on the tumor. So it shrink it and then broke, break it down into the system. If it has busted, like the cauliflower tumor, you'll want to put it and then collect it in one place and then it be removed out. That is where you use, uh, you use the pork root in small quantity at first when you're beginning and use cayenne and cloves. And uh, you need to be alternating the ones that breaks it down, that shrink it down, and the one that, uh, that is actually pull it out so that you don't cause a problem of excessive hemorrhage that will make you to be in a crisis. And uh, I've realized that if you are able to give the juices made from the grasses, like the alfalfa, the, uh, uh, even the green, look for the green uh, grass, like uh, the kuch grass, the leaves, when they are very fresh, and the barley leaves, the, the rice leaves, or, or, or wheat leaves, and then when they are two weeks old, 
make a juice out of that and then give the person to drink about a liter a day. If you cannot do that, the past, the, those things can be capsulated and then given the patient. They will regenerate the body very fast and then get the local vegetables. We have the spider plant, we have the, uh, the, 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 the uh, beaten pilosa uh, plant. Uh, beaten pilosa is, uh, is black jerk leaves. We have the wandering jew uh, leaves. We have the spider plant. Uh, we have the, the bitter vegetable, the dandelion, and then make a juice out of that and then give the patient it will be able to revitalize the system very, very rapidly. And in fact, um, uh, this needs to take time. Don't rush the patient through the treatment. You will lose him or her. Uh, that, is for, uh, that is a general uh, uh, approach to all the cancers, but now you need to go down. The ones that are caused by hormones, you have to know what to give. The ones that are caused by blood problems like the leukemia and the hot skin disease, uh, cancer, subo, uh, 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 the sarcoblastomas, you have to know what to, to give. The leukemias, you have to know what to give. The herbs that are good in that, uh, like the blood root, the, poc, uh, the blood root, the, the, uh, the one we call periwinkle. And if someone is having a problem with the hormones, the, 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 the ones that, uh, that affect the hormones, uh, like the, the red clovers, need not to be given in women. And then you have those, those cancers that are just, uh, they affect the tissues. Uh, and on the outside, that is kind of uh, not very difficult to deal with. You need to know what to apply on the skin cancers, like the melanomas. Uh, if you have the, can the, the lung cancers, there is a specific protocol to follow. We cannot just discuss it in this video. And uh, I believe that will be able to, uh, to help you. Remember, the reason why we lose the battle is because we are not growing our own foods and we don't use the powerful foods for those diseases. So let's God bless us till we, uh, we, we, we meet again in the next presentation.